Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jason Ramos with Good Vibes Real Estate Solutions. Welcome to another episode of Chat with Chatto. Welcome guys, how are we doing? Uh, welcome back on another Wednesday. Um, now, this week we have another special episode for you. Why is this week so special? Well, we have a special I, guest. A guest? Where is he? Um, he's somewhere. He'll be here shortly. But um, last week we talked about <laughs> how to get some free advertising. All right. Um, one of the things that we did when we first started was we dominated Google. Videos. Um, videos. Dominated our videos. local market, and we became a presence in our own in our own market. We were brand new. You know, didn't know anything, and we built a reputation just by our marketing. So one of our guests started around the same time as us. Um, but one thing that he did that we haven't done is consistently putting out a video every single day to brand himself and his business. And Absolutely. he's very successful. Um, one of the things that um, it, it really brought to my attention is when I got a call from somebody in a different state um, in Maryland. And they called me and they said, right. there's this guy in your market. You know, he's doing really big things. I was like, wow, who is it? Well, it's my next guest right now. He's done big things nice. like... He's interviewed of several people, Claude Diamond. Yep, Daniel Wayafe. Daniel Wayafe and a couple other people on YouTube. Um, he's been doing it around the same time as us. So ladies and gentlemen, our very special guest. Without Mr. further ado. Money Making Chris. Chris Amaro. Amaro. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's How up? much am I getting paid to be here? <laughs> <laughs> For you, one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Chris? I'm all right. Welcome. How, how are you doing? Well, well. All right, all right. Cool. Yeah. So, we're here because, right, you've done quite a journey with video, right? You've done yeah. quite a journey branding yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I, I catch up with people on the internet. I, I try to network on Facebook and talk to people. Yeah. Everybody's heard of you. You've got a good face for radio, so that could be it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> but that being said, yeah. seriously, what? So, Tell me about your journey. So a little bit about my journey as far as the, the start in uh, real estate, right? I start in real estate, let's start with the branding and the videos and getting out there and getting leads. Okay, so that type of thing. as far as like real estate, real quick, I was in the uh, fitness niche for mm -hmm. a while, nearly a decade. And there was one time in which I was really sick so bad to the point in which I was in the ER. And it was some form of bronchitis that was borderline pneumonia. And I'm waiting to get out as soon as I can to train clients. Mm -hmm. And then it hit me. Holy moly. What if I'm not healthy enough to actually like continue to train and work? I can't make any income. I only got one stream. Mm. What do I do? Yada, yada, yada. Someone recommends this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And pretty much the rest is history once I bought that board game. And I figured, well, it must be this easy, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and as, as far as the whole video branding, I mean, what really led for me to, to want to do it is because I felt that everything out there was pretty much like ordinary and very bland, very vanilla. Some just folks and talking about spreadsheets and numbers and, mm -hmm. you know, sure, those things are important, but really lacks a little oomph. It mm -hmm. lacks something called infotainment where you have information. Uh -huh. And it, and it needs a little bit, bit of that hot sauce that I think was lacking. You make it there. enjoyable. Yeah. Extra savoir faire. Uh, 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 uh -huh. Yes. I know a few big words. I bet you can't spell it, though. Probably not. <laughs> Google can. But Google can. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So um, what I've consistently been doing is trying to put out content things that really speak to, say, people that were in a position that I was years back. Mm -hmm. You may feel that you're stuck on an island. Uh, there's been things, for example, like 17 uh, tough lessons that I learned. I saw that, that one the other day. Yeah, so <laughs> 17 things that, that you should know to avoid feeling discouraged and disappointment, for instance. Mm -hmm. Or say 33 lessons that I've learned from uh, millionaires that I've networked with in real estate. So just things of that nature, like I've done a, a, a few things, for example, uh, one of my biggest ones that had to do with something that I thought Donald Trump was dead wrong about in his book. Mm -hmm. That was very polarizing, but it was very wonderful because I had a follow-up video that was already pre-planned, uh, pre mm -hmm. which had me being in complete agreement with something that he said was to stand out, be unique, mm -hmm. be different. Um, if you're not, you're just going to blend in, and that's something that a lot of uh, folks when it comes to real estate, they may be doing subconsciously without really realizing it. It's it's very me too. It can be a bit copycat 
like everyone has seen similar yellow letters and postcards mm -hmm. and the same like we buy houses type thing. I mean, before you know it, the consumer is a bit blind. They think that it's you're all the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. All one company. Exactly. Like so, yeah. I mean, that can work for your marketing to, to, to get leads, get clients, get deals done. But um, that can also uh, help yourself out when it, it comes to standing out within the actual industry to make sure that now uh, people can identify who you are, what you're good at, mm. and why you can add value to their lives. Cool. Um, one of the things I heard you mention was planning. Mm -hmm. How much planning, because your videos seem like you're just like, all of a sudden you get a light bulb goes off mm -hmm. and now you're recording. You're recording in your car. You're recording you know, in front of your laptop. Mm -hmm. You know, So is this planned or is this just like, are you just like stuff pops in your head and boom, there you are. There's moments where it's actually carefully planned out. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I use and that uh, folks out there as well can use is to use, say, questions that you frequently see come up. Common okay. questions like, say, when deals fall apart, you know, how do you make your comeback? Like, how do you bounce back from that L, which is not mm -hmm. a loss, it really is just a lesson. Um, questions, say, concerning how to make sure that you can cover your butt legally. Uh, so there's things like that, and uh, what sometimes you you also can consider doing, like I actually got this from the fitness industry as well, to, to create content. You may see in supermarkets, in aisles, you know, uh, 45 ways to please your man, right? It's, it's only about three, really. Um, <laughs> but just like, you know, those types of headlines, if you have a creative bone in your body, just figure out a good way to kind of use that headline, but add like a little real estate type twist to it, okay? And before you know it, you've got a whole bunch of content that's just like really waiting out there. So like when all else fails, just go through, say, <laughs> lessons that you've learned the hard way. And that way, um, you know, just put your own creative spin to it because you're not the only one that's been through some stuff. That much I can tell you right, right. now. Yeah. So if your message is geared for other fellow real estate investors, Again, they're definitely going to appreciate it. Uh, if, if it's meant for potential consumers, just want to have fun with it. I, I think that people can appreciate when you're authentic, when you're a little blue collar. Um, it really depends on who you want to like pitch yourself out to. If you want to attract people who are a bit stuffy, very extra professional, well, then that's how you're going to have to come off. That's okay. If you want to be more Gary Vaynerchuk-ish and... I don't drop F-bombs, but if that's your thing, that's your thing. But if that's the uh, type of uh, personalities that you want to invite into your business, whether it's for your real estate investing network or for your prospects, then that's the way that you're going to need to uh, come off. Just make sure that it's as consistent and congruent with your natural self possible. Mm, that's man, a good that, point. That's great, man. Because when, as you're talking, I'm sitting here like, wow. On our last episode, we were like... Hey guys, please tell us what to say because we're not, you know, we're looking for more content to put out there. And it's just like, mm -hmm. we have a wealth of content. There's so many Absolutely. questions out there on the yeah. internet. So you just definitely gave us a something to strive for. Like we have to go out there and look what other people are struggling with and what we struggled with in the past too. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we weren't always perfect. You know, we had... We're still uh, not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we had a hard time, you know, getting the consistent money in and all that type of stuff. There, yeah. were, there were many months where we had zero deals. Yeah. Though, so. What's yeah. really cool is that that's totally relatable because mm -hmm. I think people are falling too much now for this lifestyle type marketing with mm -hmm. these aerial shots of drones where people rent out these like mansions or whatever and, and Lamborghinis, etc. And the thing is, it seems like it's not relatable. Here's a, I'm going a little bit off the cuff here, but do you know who the most popular superhero is? Superman. The most popular comic hero is, like with people. It's mm. Batman. Yeah. Mm. Can you relate to Superman? Can you relate to Aquaman, for instance? No. The reason why people can relate to Batman is because he's human. He's got parent issues. He's got a, a, a traumatized past. He can be killed. He had his back busted by Bane, for instance. Mm. Right, so this is a guy that can that's like experienced, for example, the highs, the lows of life, and you know he's not technically is he a superhero? No, but he does superhero type things. He's a smart guy, etc. Uh, and that's why you root for him, right? Because oh yeah, like he reminds me a little bit of someone who's vulnerable. Well, 
when you show vulnerabilities just like that, you can become a superhero to someone else. Now you're a lot more relatable. You're not someone who's Superman who can't be touched, who will never lose. Right. It's like, man, like I'm never going to be that guy. And the thing is, people who are watching right now, they're probably wondering, well, how can I be like Chato? How can I be like Jason uh, Ramos? Well, the thing is, you really can't. But so long as they're relatable and you can relate to that, you also can see that there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel or, or maybe there's various aha moments and uh, gems that, that you can definitely take advantage of for yourself. Cool. Thank you. Dr. Amaro. <laughs> yeah, dropping right. the knowledge. Yeah. Now, see, th this cool. is why we wanted to have you on. And we do, we work together very closely, Chris and us. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're all part of the Good Vibes team, Holmesy. Espanol. Good, <laughs> good Vibes Espanol. He's part of the team. So, you know, definitely good with sales and everything like that. But that's one of the things. You've got to be consistent. So, Chris is every single day. There's times where, you know, we have private conversations and we just, you know, he asked me, hey, have you ever dealt with this situation? And next thing you know, there's a video online after we're done talking. I was like, oh, man, he's, that's smooth. That's cool. <laughs> you know, because I never even thought to do that. But he'll go right, hey, guys, guess what I just figured out? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I admire the consistency yeah. that you're putting stuff out. It's just like, yeah. And you're starting to really starting to reap the benefits of that, I think. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, one of the benefits, I mean, there's people that can feel very nervous about it. Like, I don't want to be in front of them. Mm. Record it. It doesn't need to be Instagram Live or Facebook Live. Right. It doesn't need to come on through Periscope, for instance, or Snapchat. If it needs to be pre-recorded, that's fine. If it needs to be rehearsed, that's fine. Just don't sound over-rehearsed. You still have to sound uh, pretty natural. But the benefits, I mean... It's a really cool way to expand your network. It's a great way for people to know what you do and why it's so special and how it can even better their lives too. Yeah. And before you know it, you now have people like when they actually meet you in person, it's like, hey, I know you, you're the person from XYZ, blah, blah. Now they want to do more business with you. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I've been able to do deals, fortunately, from people who have told me, hey, yeah, like I've seen your uh, videos before. For example, there was something in our market in a, a certain part of a Chambersburg in Trenton, New Jersey. Guy noticed me. He asked, hey, can you sell this property? Yada, yada, yada. That led to a, a quick $4,000 in like maybe 15 days. Wow. That's not okay. bad. That's good. That led to as well to even me getting a uh, dollar deal done. That led to, it was like a, it was like a little 1300 1500 bucks, but it was like a fast flip. That very same woman... Actually, like, and this is not a joke, if I can actually find the text. She sent a text today. I can't show the number because i got to be private like that, right? But, um, yeah, she actually texted me. I'm not sure if I can see this or show this. Have someone. I have someone that uh, want to get rid. It's a typo that happens. Get rid of their house. So if it's okay to give them your number. Uh, hi, just seen this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that person, um, that person was the original owner that that wanted to get out from that house and just wanted to walk away and just set a dollar. So those are the advantages to actually doing video uh, content. Wow. You know, like it's not just about being self-serving. A hey, look at how cool I am. That's known as like peacocking. That feels good. Like that feeds the ego, but it really doesn't help other people. So if you can do something that seems as if though, you know what, this can actually really help me out, great. Okay? Cool. I got a little extra tip. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm on a roll. Okay. Is that okay? You're the guest. So we're here to hear you. For folks that are wondering how they should do the videos, what I found to be effective is that you have to have a very enticing headline. Mm -hmm. Probably you've seen things called clickbait, where you're reading some kind of blog or article and towards the bottom of that article, is some kind of a picture that grabs your attention and then some kind of headline that says, you know, uh, 13 different types of salad dressings that could be causing belly fat. Or say, um, what blah, blah, blah celebrity doesn't want you to know, like about their secret past, mm. right? Those are things that are like, wait a minute, and I'll, like, I only want it to be on the internet for five minutes, but let me click, and then before you know it, you've been online for 30 minutes doing nothing. So your headline for your videos that you want to do, whether it's for people that you want to be your prospects or for other investors that like you want to spread your name throughout, it's got to have some kind of enticement to it. Okay, so give, give us an example of one of yours. Okay. Yeah, um, let me see here. 
<clears throat> Thinking for one. In fact, is it okay like if I look one up right now? Say yes for me. Sure. Sure, why, why not? not? <laughs> why not? So one that I used because I use various and also because I know words, the best words, huge words, so many the words. The best I can't words. Keep. Absolutely. What does he sound like? They're the best. The best. The very the best, best, right? So Nobody can top them. One thing that I've done, for instance, is okay, how to get wholesale deals even if you have to work with a real estate agent. Okay? So that's one, for example. That's one issue that uh, that will come up and a that, lot. That's a constant question we get. Yeah. Can I do a wholesale deal if there's an agent involved? Right. Yeah. That's great. Uh, there was one also, like, and it's not working now, go figure. There is a, another one, for example, uh, that was used. This one is the things that you thought you had to know about real estate that you really don't that are holding you back from your next hundred thousand dollars. So it's like things like that where it's like, hmm, well, what don't I know? Really? Okay, go on. So just something like that. It, it could be something that's pertinent to your market if you want to attract prospects. You know, here are the three real reasons why you're not getting your asking price mm -hmm. for your uh, listed house. So things of that nature like inspire curiosity. So once you have the curiosity, here's the, the system. You want to talk about maybe three pain points and really dig in. So how they must be feeling, right? right? Mm. So let's go back to people that want to like uh, wholesale deals and they don't know like where to start. You know, one, for example, like you could ask, hey, does it ever feel that you're never going to get that wholesale deal and you've been trying for the past like 12 months? Two pain points. Like, let's say a, a, a common thing said, all right? Is it now starting to feel that you know, your wife thinks that you're never going to get it done and that you should just stay happy with your stupid nine to five job. Mm -hmm. But probably not say stupid though, because that may turn people off. How many of you can relate to that one right there? That's a big right? one. That's Absolutely. major. Absolutely. Pain point number three Are you tired of in, uh, investing $1,000 for real estate lead generating software that hasn't given you one deal yet? Mm. You just did that one recently. More, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I did. <laughs> I saw that one. but yeah, but like these are pain points, and like you just got to keep on like digging in, like explore that world, okay? On like how, oh man, that's so terrible, and then speak about those three. So what you really would want to do, like in the case of like being so frustrated, is X Y Z. You don't need mm -hmm. to give a twenty-five minute long video because yeah, that's you tempting. have to grab their attention. It's very tempting <laughs> and easy. And then number two, you know, how to maybe, uh, you know, what plan, how to create a simple system, a simple checklist system that even someone who's not good at, at real estate can respect and understand. How can you make real estate um, understandable to a fifth grader, mm. right? So that way when you show it to your spouse, <laughs> Honey, don't worry. Like I'm only gonna do this. The reason why is because of this, 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 and it's really simple. You gotta do this, this, this. But don't worry. I'm not gonna throw our kids' college fund away for it. Cool. And then of course number three, like which I already forgot right now. Oh, about the software, for example. So yeah. what you would really like prefer to do is to explore your free alternatives. Really magnify that. Find the one that seems to yield you the best results. And then when that happens, find a way. Uh, if it's possible to scale using a bit of your funds, like uh, Benjamin Graham would say, I think if that's like 10% of, of like what you earn back into your business, there's uh, something more or less to that effect. And there you go. You've, you've pretty much got your, your video content right there. So cool. you got to be enticing. Pain points like, oh, I can relate. Yeah, I know how that, oh, I hate that. And then the light at the end of the tunnel. You, you may not have time to give away all the secret sauce, but, I mean, that's definitely going to uh, make people very uh, appreciative. I mean, like, I've had people reach out to me from Chicago, California, Florida, like, even here in Jersey. So, pretty much all over the country. And it's been good. So, cool. like, I'm pretty sure if you do that, it should work out good for you as well. Absolutely. Cool. Great, man. Yeah, good Appreciate stuff. Appreciate it. You definitely yeah. helped us out. Just by listening, we, we're figuring out where we're going wrong, wrong, so to speak, and, <laughs> yeah. and what we're doing in our approach. 
Um, so you helped us. We're going to be able to help our audience much better now based upon what you just dropped on us today. So cool. thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Is there a way for uh, anybody in our audience, if they want to reach out to you, if they want to get in contact with Mr. Chris Amaro, what would be the best way for them to reach you? Uh, Facebook or? Social media has been okay for now as far as uh, reaching out. I mean, if I don't get back, it's because I, you know, like, of course, I have to do my own deals to worry about. I've got family, too. I also have to screen people uh, just because, of, uh, like, after a while, hey, can I, I pick your brain? Okay, that means, like, hey, like, I need my handheld for seven hours straight. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, you can do so on uh, Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash rags to riches real estate. That's one page. If you want to just look me up at Marketing Chris genius. Amaro, you'll see this face on Facebook. You can go to Instagram. Is, what is it? At Mr. Chris Amaro. You can check me out over there, and uh, yeah. Cool. Appreciate go. it. All right. So thanks a, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Hopefully this was of value to you. As always, you want to get in contact with us, me and Jason, Jason and I. Questions at goodvibesre.com. Ta-da. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good we'll week. see you next week. Take care.